In your health headlines this morning, there's new developments in the fight over IVF treatments in Alabama following that controversial ruling from the state Supreme Court that frozen embryos are considered people. And this all comes as the Biden administration is meeting with families affected after some IVF providers have paused procedures in the state. ABC's Melissa Adan has the latest. Lawmakers in Alabama now working to protect IVF services following the controversial ruling by Alabama's Supreme Court concerning frozen embryos. Alabama's governor, Kay Ivey, aiming to remove the uncertainty for IVF clinics. And I anticipate having a bill on my desk very shortly while ensuring that the legislature has time to get this right. The federal government also responding to the ruling from the Alabama Supreme Court saying frozen embryos are considered children. Several clinics in the state paused treatments as a result, causing uncertainty for many families. Um, I still have one embryo um, remaining after, like I said, multiple retrievals, and um, I don't know if my family is complete at this point. Um, but so right now I'm in very much limbo. Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra in Alabama today meeting with families affected by the decision. We're trying to figure out at the federal level what we can continue to do to try to be supportive of people who want to access their health care rights. The fallout could impact women and families across the country. After Roe v. Wade was overturned, actually even before then, when Donald Trump promised to only appoint justices who would overturn it, I warned that red states would come for IVF. And now they have. Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth now among Senate Democrats leading efforts to establish a statutory right to access assistive reproductive technologies, including IVF. Recently, Alabama's attorney general stating he has no intention of prosecuting IVF families or providers. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles. Alabama's biggest hospital is telling ABC News that it cannot commit to restarting IVF treatments until the state Supreme Court reconsiders its opinion or if legislation is passed. Our coverage of health news can also be found at WQAD.com. Just head to our website and you're going to find your health in the search bar at the top of our homepage. The time is